You know how it is. Sometimes you go to the supermarket and when you get home, you discover you have bought the wrong thing. Or perhaps you are getting something from one of those delivery companies or an online supermarket shop. And when the groceries arrive, you also discover, oops, something is not as expected. Well, that's exactly what happened to me. I had ordered four cream desserts but did they arrive? No, in its place was creme fraiche. I thought, do I even like creme fraiche? Do I even know what creme fraiche is? Well, I don't know what the answer to either of those was, but I looked it up online and I discovered an absolutely fabulous recipe for a quick and easy creamy pasta. The ingredients that you need are one small onion, chopped, one clove of garlic, chopped. Five slices of streaky bacon cut into strips or lardons. A good bowl's worth of garden peas. The creme fraiche. And 225 grams of pasta, preferably fusely. Well, we've already got the pasta on the boil and it should be kind of al dente. Uh, we'll see how it turns out <laughs> and I've got a large frying pan here now sometimes when you cook bacon um, you would just put it in without any oil but we do want a little bit of oil this time uh, because um, we're going to be putting other ingredients in there later on so we need a little bit of liquid so I think that's probably about enough and you want the pan on a medium to high heat now this is a non Actually, it's not. This this is a stick. <laughs> this is a non non stick pan. So it's a stick pan. Um, so we have to be sort of careful here um, and keep things moving around. Otherwise, they will stick to the pan. So hopefully the oil has started to heat and we'll. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll get our bacon in, spread it around. And what we're looking for is my favourite type of bacon, really. It's going to cook for roughly three minutes or until it gets crispy. Oh, well, I think that's just about ready now. So what we want to do is reduce the heat mm. to a sort of a medium heat now, down to here. And what we're going to do is we are going to put the bacon onto some paper just to let it soak up the fat. Try not to set fire to the paper. So we have our bacon on the paper, so that will soak up any excess fat. But we want a little bit more oil in the pan now. Um, and we'll let that heat up. And the next thing we do is we're going to add in our onion. And that is going to cook for about three to four minutes until it's nicely softened. I'm using a red onion, but it doesn't really matter. You could use a white onion or you could also use shallots, depending on what you've got. And the thing is, with a pan like this, you're going to get all those nice sort of tasty bits on the bottom. It's not burnt, really. It's just golden, crispy. So while the onion continues to soften down, we're now going to add the peas to the pasta. And it's just going to sit in there for the last sort of three minutes or so of cooking time. The onions are nicely softened now. So we're going to add the garlic and cook for a relatively short time, maybe another minute or so. Right, now it's time to add the bacon back into the pan. And to that, we are going to add in our jar of creme fraiche to make our lovely cream. And we want a pinch of salt and some pepper. Thank you. Ooh, look at this. And that's it. So our cream mixture is just going to like bubble away in the background and I think now 
it's probably time to turn our attention to the pasta and the peas. And what we want to do is to drain them, but save a little bit of the water because that is going to be added into the sauce. So we'll take the pasta off the heat. And I've got my strainer over here. So we're just going to pour it all in. And hopefully there will be a little bit of, um, if we hold a little bit back in the pan, that will keep the water. So we'll come over here, add that in, add that in. Continue to stir it around until everything is nicely mixed together. Did you put pepper in there yet? There was pepper, but you can add more. Salt and pepper to taste, my dear. I know how you like your salt and pepper, so it'll do no harm to add another little pinch of salt and some more pepper at this stage. Now there are options you can do on this recipe. You can add Parmesan cheese into the mix and also parsley if you've got it. We don't have either of those, so it wasn't an option. But you can just use whatever you've got. And we have got some oregano, which we are going to sprinkle on the top once it gets onto the plate. Oh, Paul thinks it's ready, so maybe it's time for me to eat. Why don't you put some of that oregano on <laughs> Oh, I think that will be to taste. Paul wants his oregano, so here we go. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. We hope you are being entertained by our YouTube channel. If you are, please continue to like, comment and subscribe. Does it not have enough of the sauce or am I saucy enough? It's time for a taste test. No, let's try this. It's still quite hot. Mmm. That is creamy. That is lovely. Let's get some of the, the bacon. Bacon's my favorite, of course. Mmm. And some of the peas. You might need a spoon for this. Mmm! Oh! This might be one of the best things I've ever made and it's so easy as well. So, even if you do make a mistake at the supermarket, you can always rectify it at home. See you next time! You want yours now, Paul? <laughs> or should I just eat it all? <laughs>